we're gonna look at the arm bar from the guard. This is also very common, and uh, there's some really, really important things that we need to talk about on extension, right? Like, what is the guy trying to do to your arm? He's trying to straighten it out. Okay, what does he need to do in order to do that? He needs to extend his body on it. A lot of people will try to stand up and pull their arm out of the trap. Can work with sweat and it can, if you do it really fast, the guy sucks at arm bar, it might work, but the one time it doesn't work, you wish you didn't do it for all of the times that it did work. If by standing up, it actually helps him straighten your arm. All of his body weight starts hanging off your arm. You wanna do the opposite of that. You wanna stop him from extending. He can have the arm, but as long as he doesn't, ex he has no ability to extend, okay, it becomes very difficult to finish. Not impossible, there's other ways to get extension, but it's very difficult to finish. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna crunch him up, okay? We're gonna compress him into a ball. Don't let him get like this, make him go like that. We starting in the guard here, he's gonna end up on your arm. If I start standing up, just try to stand, if I start standing up, all his body weight starts hanging off of it and it gets real bad real fast. Okay, what I wanna do is the opposite. I wanna crunch him like this. So we can't extend. I'm using the floor as my, my friend to, to double team this guy. First, but I wanna also block my arm. If I just leave this thing hanging out by itself, he can still attack it in many ways. So I'm gonna do a rear naked choke grip. This hand is gonna grab this bicep and then this hand is gonna grab the tendon on the back of his knee. It makes a really good handle. Okay, so we go and try to attack. Okay, I start my compression. As soon as I, I'm getting this arm close to this hand, it's gonna grab, and then I grab his leg. And now I wanna put my knee close to his shoulder like this, so I'm beside him. I put my other knee, okay, behind his hip. So he's kind of boxed in here. And I'm really putting all my weight down into his neck. It's kind of a, a bit of a dick move, but I don't believe in dick moves, okay? I put my elbow into his neck and I drive in. Yeah, I felt it. Yeah, it <laughs> sucks, right? So with that downward force now, I jackhammer the arm out. Don't pull up your whole body while doing it because it'll start extending. You wanna keep the downward force and then pull that arm up. Now a lot of the times he'll still hang on to the hand, especially if you've got a glove on. As soon as my elbow is free from his hips though, I'm out of the arm bar. Okay, and now I'm gonna start running around his guard to the other side. So I'm pulling this down and I'm pushing with my head. Okay, which is important because if I don't push with my head, he's just gonna go to triangle. Go to triangle? Yeah, he's just gonna go over there and now we're stuck in a triangle. Gotta escape something else. So I need to pin that leg with my head and I'm pulling down this way with that arm on the tendon. And now from here, I'm gonna run around his guard. As I'm running around, the arm is gonna completely come free. And then I can go and anchor the head. I like to cradle here. Any opportunity that I have to cradle, actually, I really like to cradle because it, it kind of compresses the guy's lungs a bit and it's cost me no energy. I can kind of chill here until I feel like going into more attacks and then I'll unleash that and go and get this underhook and camp out on his head. And now you can start attacking from your side control position. We're in a trap. He's starting to attack the armbar, start arching it. Okay, before it gets too bad, I'm gonna start driving into him. As I drive in, this leg is gonna go close to his head and his shoulder. Drive in and up. Okay, and now I can grab my arm and grab his leg, right? Keep that downward force, pop, pop, out of the, out of the guard. My elbow is free. Now I'm gonna pull and push with my head while I run laterally around his guard. Elbow deep grip on the head, and now I can compress him and chill for a second. And then whenever I wanna establish my next position that I can actually get submissions from, I'm gonna release and underhook. If I happen to be past this arm, that would be more of a seat belt, and I'm gonna start sitting him up and attacking his back.
fight in MMA like this right now. This is the perfect time to sign up for my Pro Fight Guide. Every single video that I ever release, including the anti-wrestler guide, which is like 70 plus videos. We got the MMA basics course that we're building right now, getting new videos out there every single week. This is my 22 years of MMA experience bottled up in one package. I fought in the UFC. I train elite guys. Ali Wasuk just won the belt. BFL bantamweight champion. If you want to be like this guy, get into this course right now. You also get access to my private community. You'll be able to talk directly to me. Send me things that you're struggling with. Say you're getting armbarred by everybody, getting smashed by wrestlers, you're getting ground and pounded. Whatever the situation is, let me know and I will personally help you. I can send you videos. You can send me your training videos, but I'm not letting too many more people in. So get in now before we close it off forever.